वेलकम बैक प्रॉब्लम द स्टेटमेंट ऑफ प्रॉब्लम इज फॉर द बीम एंड लोडिंग शोन डिजाइन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम नोइंग दैट द ग्रेट ऑफ टिम्बर बीम यूज हैज एन अलाउेबल नॉर्मल स्ट्रेस ऑफ ट्वेल्व मेगा पासकल सो यू कैन सी दिस इज अम्पली सपोर्टेड बीम एंड दिस इज मेड ऑफ टिम्बर द क्रॉस सेक्शन इज शोन वी हैव ब्रेड इज फोर्टी मिलीमीटर एंड हाइट इज नॉट नोन द लोडिंग एट पॉइंट बी इज वन पॉइंट एट किलो न्यूटन वाइल लोडिंग एट पॉइंट सी इज थ्री पॉइंट सिक्स किलो न्यूटन द टोटल लेंथ ऑफ दिस बीम इज टू पॉइंट फोर मीटर सो यू हैव टू डिजाइन द क्रॉस सेक्शन ऑफ द बीम सो बी विल फाइंड दिस एच सो लेट स्टार्ट विद द सोल्यूशन so first step is that if we remove this uh, support at point a so definitely there will be a reaction force at point a which is represented r as r a and if you remove the roller support at point d so you will have a reaction force at point d so we will find r a and r d by using equation of equilibrium so what is equation of equilibrium so the first equation of equilibrium is sum of all moment about point a is equal to 0 and taking the counter clockwise moment as positive so about point a one moment is due to rd and perpendicular distance is this 2.4 and it is producing counter clockwise moment so it will be positive so i will write it uh, uh, rd into 2.4 the second moment is due to this force which is 3.6 and perpendicular distance is 1.6 and it is producing clockwise so it will be negative so i will write minus 3.6 multiply by 1.6 the other moment that is produced by 1.8 load and the perpendicular distance is 0.8 and that is producing clockwise moment so it will be negative so minus 1.8 Minus one point eight into perpendicular distance zero point eight is equal to zero. So it means two point four R D minus five point seven six minus one point four four is equal to zero. And when you solve it, you will get R D will be equal to three kilo newton. Now you have this R D. You can find. R A by using another equilibrium condition that sum of all forces about uh, along y direction must be equal to zero and force taken upward as positive. So we have four forces R A plus R D minus three point six minus one point eight is equal to zero. So R A plus R D is three kilo newton minus one point eight plus three minus one point six. So this is minus minus 1.6 is equal to zero. So when you solve this, you will get R A will be equal to. Uh, this is minus 3.6. Okay. So when you solve this, you will get uh, R D is equal R A is equal to 2.4 kilo newton. Now we have both R A and R D. clear so we will draw i will write it over here r a is 2.4 kilo newton and r d is 3 kilo newton so we will draw shear force and bending moment diagram for that i will draw vertical line from the end of this beam and we will draw the shear force diagram first so this is the horizontal line that will show the variation of length of beam in meter and here we will take v that is in kilo newton so at point a you can see that you have a load of 2.4 kilo newton so let each division is 1 uh, and 1 2 and this is 3 kilo newton so 2.4 will be some weight where here okay so moving from a to b there is no other load so shear force will constant and this will remain 2.4 till this point this is 2.4 now at point b you have a load of uh, b that is given as 1.8 kN so 2.4 minus 1.8 will bring it to 0.6 so 0.6 will be here so this shear force will change from this to this this is 0.6 kN now moving from b to c there is no other load so point 6 will remain same till point c so this is the point c 
now at point c we have a load of minus 3.6 so 0.6 minus 3.6 will bring it to 3 so we will locate 3 so this is 3 is this one so you will have this point so your shear force will change from 0 0.6 to minus 3 kilo newton and then it will remain same because there is no other load from c to d and at d you can see you have a plus 3 so it will go to 0 so this is this will be your shear force diagram now we'll draw the bending moment diagram so you will have x in meter there you will have a moment that will be in kilo newton into meter okay so first area under the shear force diagram is this one and this is rectangle rectangle high having area is equal to 2.4 multiplied by 0 0.8 and that will give you 1.92 so at a length of 0 0.8 you have a moment of 1.92 so first we will let this is 1 kilo newton this is 2 so 1.92 will be somewhere here assume this is 1.92 92 kilo newton into meter now you can see that shear force is a horizontal line with zero degrees so bending moment will be the straight line uh, and the slope will be increasing and it will be the first degree line okay now the second area under the shear force diagram is this one which is equal to 0 0.6 multiply by this length which is 0 0.8 and it will give you 0 0.48 so plus 1.92 plus 0 0.48 will be give you 2.4 so this is 1 2 and 2.4 will be somewhere here so let this is 2.4 kilonewton and it will be a straight line because the shear force is a constant line with zero degrees so first bending moment will be a first degree line now the third area is this is this area and this area is minus 3 into 0 0.8 will give you minus 2.4 so plus 2.4 minus 2.4 will give you zero at this point so since the area is negative so slope will be decreasing and we will get the bending moment diagram now from shear force from shear force and bending moment diagram we get maximum value of absolute maximum value of shear force you can see that is 3 kilo newton so minus 3 kilo newton mod will give you 3 kilo newton so maximum shear force is 3 kilo newton clear and maximum bending moment maximum bending moment mod is equal to 2.4 kilo newton into meter so we will get this too so we will use uh, this to find as we know that bending stress or allowable stress is equal to maximum bending moment divided by required section modulus so definitely we need required section modulus so required section modulus is equal to maximum bending moment divided by allowable stress so we have both these two values maximum bending moment is 2.4 kN so 2.4 into 10 raised to the power 3 divided by allowable bending stress was 12 megapascal that is given in given data so 12 into 10 raised to the power 6 so this will give you required section modulus again when you solve this you will get it 0 0.2 into 10 raised to the power minus 6 cubic meter or it is equal to uh, 200 into 10 to the power minus 6 cubic meter and what we have to do we will convert it in millimeter so required section modulus is equal to 200 into 10 to the power 3 cubic millimeter now again for rectangular cross section for rectangular cross section we know that uh, section modulus is equal to 1 over 6 b h square so we will we are interested to find h so h square is equal to 6 x 6 s divided by b and h will be equal to under root 6 s divided by b so you have all the value 6 multiplied by s is 0 0.200 into 10 to the power 3 
cubic millimeter divided by breadth breadth is given as 40 millimeter i will show you the breadth is 40 millimeter okay this is the given 40 millimeter so you can just put it and you will have to take the square root so when you calculate it you will get h is equal to 173.20 millimeter so this is the height of the beam and the cross section of the beam will be equal to this breadth is 40 millimeter and this height will be 173. height will be equal to 173.20 millimeter so this was all about this problem i hope you have enjoyed this video and you are learning from it those who are new to my channel then subscribe it and press the bell icon so that you can get notification about my latest video if you have any question you can ask me in comment section thank you for watching